we did the trial with the, the idea that there, there might be an effect on cancer. Uh, we also had the question of whether or not there would be effect long term on cardiovascular disease. Um, however, until you do the trial, you don't know the answer. And it's, it's worthwhile knowing what the effects of multivitamins are from a beneficial standpoint as well as a safety standpoint since so many Americans take vitamin supplements. The first conclusion is that it's safe to take a multivitamin for a long period of time. Um, I think that the main reason that people should continue to take a multivitamin is to prevent the deficiency state. Even uh, as adults, we don't always get the right levels of the essential vitamins and minerals. However, there, this study s suggests that there may be some benefit in cancer. We will continue to um, uh, explore other outcomes in this group of physicians, and it's our hope to be able to follow these physicians long term so we can gain more information about the cancer and other long-term effects of multivitamins. Well, it's an impressively long effort. Um, you know, these are male physicians recruited from around the United States, um, nearly 15,000 men that um, were willing to um, be uh, randomized to either take a multivitamin that's an active multivitamin or take a comparable placebo and um, to not just do it for a short while, but to do it for more than a decade on average. There are three things that come to mind. First of all, um, when you take a multivitamin, it appears to be safe over the long term. Second of all, the decision to take a multivitamin should be based in part on whether you may or may not be vitamin or mineral deficient. Thirdly, um, it, we did find in the physician's health study that taking a multivitamin did result in a lower risk of total cancer. So there appears to be a small but significant benefit on total cancer, but it's also equally important to consider it in the context of other endpoints beyond cancer that we are currently studying in the Physician's Health Study. So one important consideration is um, whether these results might expand to uh, women and also younger men, since this was a large-scale trial in middle-aged and older men. Um, and the simple answer is we don't know, um, but we certainly would like to find out through additional studies, through additional um, um, trials, et cetera.